um, today I want to share with you my testimony. My only daughter last year decided to study theology at the Seventh-day Adventist University in Medellin, Colombia. For a long time, I was trying to prepare myself for that time when our children ha ha has to leave our home. But although we are trying to prepare ourselves, I think we have never been prepared for that time. But the Lord is good and He gave me a little more time with her because the first semester was completely online. But the time to, to travel uh, arrived and by the grace of God I, I went with her and I spent the first 10 days with her there at the university. I, I knew the people that is uh, sharing with her and I knew the, the teachers and the compound is very, is very nice, it's big, it's beautiful, it's, it's comfortable and the people is friendly, it's kind. And we went out and we visit many places in the city and I can see the city is uh, pretty clean, clean. The, the city is beautiful and I can say what I could say the city uh, look like um, safe and quiet but the time to come back and uh, arrive too um, I took my flight and I left her there my mom was waiting for me here and when I got my apartment I was having the sensation that the apartment is big and, and like uh, it's empty and there was a deep silence in our home and this is a time that the you know psychologists used to call that uh, it's the emptiness and um, well uh, although I was uh, missing her a lot and I still missing her I, I was feeling happy because I know she's well she's happy there she's learning a lot about the word of God and she's growing up um, but uh, I started feeling in my chest some some sensation that nervousness or feeling so worried about her and thinking about is she well? Is she really well? Is she sleeping well? Is she sleeping well? Or though I was feeling this way, I decided to trust in the Lord to take care of her. The Bible says in Proverbs and uh, Chapter 3, verse 5. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. God bless you.